I am fighting for fair elections. Leading voting rights voice Stacey Abrams says voting is perhaps as essential as praying. I am a woman of faith, and so my approach is to pray for what I need, but work for what I, I think needs to be done. What we have seen happen in Georgia is that people's voices have been silenced. As a nationwide fight over ballot access and election laws plays out, Abrams' efforts as founder of voting rights group Fair Fight are centered on her home state of Georgia, where she says the sweeping overhaul of election law are familiar efforts to suppress the electoral power of black voters. As a daughter of United Methodist Reverends, she says it's a narrative unchanged since her parents first tried voting in the segregated South. They also raised us with a very fundamental belief that voting is a sacred obligation because it is the way that in the secular world we shape the world we live in. My father was arrested at the age of 14 for helping to register black people in Mississippi who were denied the right to vote under Jim Crow. Opponents say Georgia's new restrictions, which criminalize giving food or water to voters waiting in line and limit the use of drop boxes, are reminiscent of last century Jim Crow laws, Abrams says, created barriers without explicitly mentioning race. Instead, it's going to make it harder for these specific communities to vote. It doesn't say brown and black people don't vote. It simply says we're going to remove things that we saw you use to your benefit or we're going to make it harder for you to access these opportunities. They rigged an election. They rigged it like they've never rigged an election before. Supporters of the law say it's meant to preserve electoral integrity on the heels of baseless claims by Donald Trump that he lost the presidency due to fraudulent votes. Abrams, who was defeated in the 2018 Georgia governor's race, won't confirm a 2022 run, but she says she's holding on to her faith and pushing to make sure the effort to get souls to the polls is not a partisan one. Having laws on the books should not be the measure of whether or not a party could win. The laws on the books should determine whether voters can participate. Hillary Powell, The Associated Press.